like to change filter. Hey. Y'all, this is my first live. But I have some I have some questions. So I just figured why not come on here and say hi. Got the live here. I didn't even know this was like a thing. Hold on. Hi. Yes, commenting. I love it. This is so fun. I should have done this earlier. Hi. So I wanted to come on and um, <laughs> I had some questions from in the... Hey, hi, Abby Salazar and um, C Cordova. Okay, we're just gonna turn that off for now. Okay, hello, yes I am, Army. Yes I am. And um, I know you hear digital going on in the back, right? <laughs> I am, so yeah, we got Jimin back here. And um, he came on on the... Thank you. Thank you so much, Abby. Um, he came on on the most random time. I was not expecting that. Like, literally, like, I knew I knew Jen already went. I was like, okay, we're almost there. We're good. Maybe Jim, Jimin will come, like, today, which was tomorrow, yesterday. But then he surprised us all. Yes, Jimin. And so, yeah. So, um, once... Once I saw that, I don't know if y'all saw, but no, I'm so sorry, Abby. She missed it. But you know, you YouTube or if you have V Live and it'll have the subs. Um, but but yeah, so I was actually filming my gin video and I'm sure some of you saw it because I put I had to post the blooper um, and I post. <laughs> I was literally in the middle of it and you know I had my I was in character and everything for my gin video and then um all of a sudden and all of a sudden I got the V Live notification and I was like hello oh yes I do I have two do you see them I have peaches and cream for butter the question was do I have butter I got one on release day and then I got the other one um like I got the first one in Target and then I ordered the I pre-ordered the first one. So um, do you have it? Who has butter? Yeah, lucky. No. Oh. Well, I hope you can get it with butter and permission to dance. So, yeah, so when um, Jimin came on live, I actually was in the middle of doing something. So. I had to catch it afterwards. Um, and then once I did, I was like, okay, that's what I'll use for this next video. So only have love yourself answer. That's cool. That's great. What was the photo card that you got from that? Let me know. So, um, yeah, I, uh, I have a, I have a couple of albums, but I pulled Hobie and I pulled, I pulled OT seven from my peaches album, which I thought was amazing. Cause it's like, what are the chances? J Hope, yes, yes. I also pulled J Hope, so yay. Um, so I've answered some of these questions before um, in like my videos, but I just thought I'd come on here and answer some. So, who my bias is? It's Jimin. Once you Jim in, y'all know. Once you Jim in, can you hear the music? Oh, singularity, so it's really low. But, um, yes, Jimin. And my favorite song is Save, or, well, it's actually I'm Fine. The, okay, so that's, so the first song, um, the, the question was, what was the first song that I heard? The first song that I heard was actually probably, 
mic drop but i heard boy with love and that was the one that i recognized the most and then um for i'm fine that's the one that really stuck with me and i i think to this day made me an army like that um that performance on jimmy fallon when they did i'm fine i didn't even know about save me yet you know once i found out about save me i i lost it but I, I'm Fine is my favorite song, but the first song that I ever heard was probably Mic Drop. I just didn't know it was BTS because once I heard Mic Drop again, I was like, this is BTS, what? I had no idea. <laughs> Kim Taehyung, Kim Taehyung as the bias. Yep. Hi from Portugal, how fun, hello. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much, Maggie. I love your edits. Thank you so much. I just posted the Jimin one with the um, with the Jimin uh, new footage, I guess, from his live. So please check that out. Um, I kind of connected it with my uh, recent Gen one. So please feel free to see that. Who do you think is the baby of BTS? I mean, I think it's the Magne. Is it not? Am I wrong? Um, I think Jungkook will forever, no matter how many tattoos, no matter how, no matter how many piercings, I think he'll always be the baby. Jungkook is your bias, Abby. Nice. I think so. Uh, and I made a video about this. Jungkook is my wrecker. It wasn't always, I, I don't, I didn't think I even really had a wrecker. I don't know. But, um, I've come to that understanding, like that realization that like when it's not Jimin, we got an ad going on. When it's not Jimin, it's it's Jungkook. So, how many years have I been a fan? So I've only been a fan for I'm going on my second year. So I I wouldn't consider myself baby army, but I I know some some of y'all have been fans for a while, which is which is awesome. You've been there since like day one. Um, I do have the <laughs> my membership here, um, but that was from last year. Would you believe that I actually got that like? this past year it was so late and um all the stuff inside of it is like older now but i'm like whatever but better late than never i guess kim Young, yay yeah yes already did i'm glad um maggie i think she was saying that she just saw my jimin um edit um using this footage and i kind of did it kind of like a I tried to, because he was in the car, so I tried to use the element of the fact that he was in the car. So, um, we'll see. I've been a fan since 2014. Marissa, okay. That's amazing. You know, I've always thought how cool that is, that, like, what is it like to be a fan from that far and see the progression and see all the changes that they've gone through, like, and still be a fan today? Like, I think that's awesome. Um... Hi, kid fam. Um, Jahira, I've been like a month, but I love them. So please tell me I'm baby army or what? You know, I would say a month is still considered baby army, but that's awesome. I mean, I hope that I feel like you're probably very overwhelmed. I don't know if you saw that recent um, interview, but but R but RM was like, it takes about a year to like catch up on all their content and to catch up on everything. So who is the funniest? Oh man, who's the funniest? The funniest member? Okay, I think it, it's each of them, but in different ways. So like, for instance, I feel like V is hysterical because he keeps such a serious face. Like, <laughs> like he's joking, but like, if you don't like, if you don't know, you don't know, you know? So like people will really think that he's being serious and he's not, so I think that's hilarious um but Jin I okay you know what to like to make a long answer short I think it's Jin I think it just comes so natural to him um been a, uh Maggie has been a fan since March 2019 yes yeah, so mine was from December 2019 so I'm a little little behind there um 2017 okay which era I should know that, right? I'm not good with numbers <laughs> from the top of my head. 2017. So what was that comeback? I've al I always think if I could go, if I could be a fan from the past and like see each comeback, like imagine seeing fake love for the first time. Like imagine like those sorts of things. I'm like, oh, I wish. 
Um, how are you so beautiful? Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, what was my favorite live? Let's, let's, cause they have a ton. So one of the, my favorite recent live, um, has probably been <laughs> Nam June. Cause he cracked me up with the, get the hell out. It was hilarious. I used that. And I'm, I know everyone has seen that all over TikTok. And someone in my comments was like, well, who was he talking to? And he was talking to COVID. So get the hell out. It's hilarious. Sugar's humor will sneak up on you. You are not wrong. He kind of has that same thing that Tay does where it's like he's serious. <laughs> uh, but his is like dry sarcasm. I love, love Yungi's humor. I miss J-Hope live. You know what? J-Hope's was really, J-Hope's was really great. It was long. It was, it was a long time, but it was, it was a good time. I mean, he, he was dancing his little heart out. Um, and I know that he was alone in that high building. So whatever he needed to do to feel, to feel at home. <laughs> oh, um, should just hear it. Yeah. If someone can remember the comeback from 2017, please let me know. Cause I forget. How did I notice BTS? That's a great question. Um, so that was from TikTok uh, user Mina. Um, so I actually, I, I don't want to block the, the TV, y'all. I want to see Jimin. Um, but the way that I discovered or that I found or noticed BTS was that I actually moved states after graduating from grad school. And um, I met a, a friend. I met a new friend. And she was into... I. I'm talking about her like she doesn't have a TikTok herself. Um, Ray Hope, if you want to, you know, a little, little shout out to my friend. Um, so she she kind of just put me on. So we would hang out and she would just have it in the background. And um, I was just like, who is? Because I'm a pop girl. I'm a pop girl. I'm a pop girl. I in sync, Backstreet Boys, Justin Bieber, when he, I'm still a, a believer kind of changes was like, eh. But like, anyway. So I'm a pop girl. And so when he, uh, when she would play the music in the background, I'd be like, hold up, like, what is this? I love this. And I, I love uh, hip hop and R&B as well. So that mix was, it just caught my attention. And then, yeah, so then she would show me them. And, um, and then one day I decided to kind of do my own, I dug into it. I, and I was like, what are these songs like? And I recognized Mic Drop because I heard Mic Drop before. And I knew Boy With Love because of the oh, 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 oh. Like, I knew that. So um, so that's what happened. And ever, it literally is ever since then. And then I heard I'm Fine that day. It was, if future me could go back to past me, I feel like I'd be like, girl, you don't know what you're getting into. So shout out to Rachel. <laughs> oh, Okay, well, bye. Thank you. Bye, Abby. Um, how did I know? Been a fan since 2014. An OG fan, man. 2017, that's awesome. If you know the comeback for 2017, let me know. I am just one day era. <gasps> Stop. I don't know if y'all know Jordan Orn. He does YouTube videos on like on like the how they create music videos like he's he he creates music videos himself so he gives a dissection into like how bts creates their music videos and stuff and he just did one on just one day just one day no i'm oh my gosh i'm so sorry it was on spring day but still check him out <laughs> um but just one day is great hey girl i hope you caught jimin's live girl you know i did we got it some in the background too got some in the background more likes can attract you. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm new to this, so I just read what TikTok just sent me. DNA came out in 2017. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Imagine putting yourself, let's say you weren't a fan yet, and you could, or let's say you weren't a fan and you could go back in time and be a fan. Imagine watching DNA for the first time, like in that era. Hey, chick. Hey, Ivy the Small. How are you? Who else missed Jimin's live? Ah, no, but you know, y'all can go back on VLive and YouTube and watch it back. Also spring day, yes. Jimin, yes, it is in the background, I had to. You know, I wanted so bad. I don't know if 
some of you know, but I, I try to make edits kind of like I'm talking to the members. And so I, I was like, how can I do that on a live? And this is probably the closest thing. So, um, but obviously I don't have like a script or a story in my head. So, oh, thank you for the roses. It was 6 a.m. here. I don't even, it was um, when Jimin came on live, it, it was like midnight. Cause I, a lot of times I do my TikToks later. Um, and yeah, it was like after midnight for me. And I was like, no, oh my gosh. Mm. I don't really do the ship thing, being completely honest. Um, I don't really do that too much. I mean, I think they're all like, bestest of friends but i don't really go beyond that love yourself her was 2017 okay 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 so that was my job original was that fake love then was it no that no fake love was tear y'all i'm showing i'm showing that i've only been in army for a year <laughs> Okay, I'm going on my second, so I say it's two. I say it's two. You're so pretty. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Because 2017 was the time they really started blowing up. Yes. Yes. Um, and I think I, I think I saw BTS go on, um, like, The Voice and other shows, like, you know, other award shows. I just had no idea who they were. And the crowd would go crazy, and I was like, wow. I... But I didn't hear the music before, so I didn't know if I, man, if I could go back, I'd be like, girl, you have, because all of last year during like the pandemic and everything, I was, I was sucked into the, the, I don't even know the little rabbit hole that you go into of like trying to look at all their content. It really does take a year. Um, I want V live so much. Yeah, I think they just need to make this a habit. Like, they spoiled us, and it makes me question, like, what's going on. But they spoiled us, and I love that for, or I love them for that. But they need to do this more often. <laughs> I asked Jin to do a finger heart. I think he noticed me. Mm, love. I, one day, you know, I tell myself, one day I'm going to say something, and they're going to notice. Or one day, um, just one day, right? <laughs> One day I'll do something and they'll know that I exist. <laughs> do you love any other K-pop group? Yes. Okay. So that was from Game Over 5. And I, I actually got that question before too. So I I'm, I wouldn't consider myself a stan of any other group. Um, I don't think I've put any other... All I haven't put the same amount of energy into other groups. But I do love Twice. I love Blackpink. I love Stray Kids. Mama Moo is great. TXT? Are we are we serious? Are we serious? Like they yeah, I mean I think in hyphen's great. Um I um Pentagon? Um oh like the NCT like I honestly I love K-pop as like a genre, um, but I don't again I don't I wouldn't necessarily say I, I stand because I haven't put that same amount of energy into any other group. Just being honest. Mic drop, best of me, DNA Pied Piper. There's so much going on. That is that is jam packed. Do you guys hear the music? When they did disease during um, muster, I was introduced to them because YouTube was advertising blood, sweat, and tears. So I became army in 2016. <gasps> YouTube had your back. <laughs> Where was my YouTube? Where was my YouTube advertising, IV? I think Jimin saw my comment when I asked him to raise his pinky. Wait, that's so precious. I actually almost included a clip because he did a little pinky raise in his live. Um, and I almost used that clip to kind of be like pinky promise or, you know, something. We'll see. One day I'll, I might incorporate his pinky. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye, Chihiro. I recommend One Us to everyone. They're they're newer, but absolutely amazing. Ivy the Small. Okay. One Us. Sounds good. Is that a boy group or a girl group? Not that it matters. I'm just asking. I comment in Hangul because I think he only reads those. Uh, that's actually a very safe bet. Um, uh, this was... 
um, ill e-girl. Um, that, yeah, that's, that's a great idea because with the English comments, it's probably like just, I'm sure the Hangul ones stick out more. Who do you think is the thief on Run BTS? Okay, I haven't seen, I, so fun fact, like my mom's an army too. And so I watch, I, I wait till later in the day to watch the runs with her. <laughs> and so um, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it yet. But so far, based off of the first, based off of the first, <sighs> Yoongi seems kind of suspicious to me because where has he been? I feel like the camera hasn't showed him at all. So I don't know. I don't know about that. I knew of them before 2017. This is Jim and Lane. I knew of them before 2017, but didn't become an army until I decided to watch a music video and it was Save Me. Yes. Okay, the Save Me, I'm fine. I'm getting I'm getting passionate, I'm dropping things. The Save Me, I'm fine performance as a whole is just like genius. And I actually saw a TikTok. I, I wonder if any of you saw. I saw a TikTok that like someone had the writing on their arm, like on a sweatshirt. I think they created it, which is awesome. I don't, I don't know the creator, but um, I just love that. That's. I, I feel like they're so underrated, you know. So I just love when "Save Me" and "I'm Fine" gets love. <laughs> also forgot how to breathe, girl. I know it was the whole video on an advertisement and the only thing I didn't skip. Anytime still to this day, anytime, like remember when Permission to Dance, the, the shorts on YouTube were just going rampant. I would watch every single one. I'm like, I'm not skipping it. Sorry, anyone that's with me, you're gonna watch this. And hopefully by the end of the advertisement, you know the dance, right? <laughs> okay, one us is a boy group. Oh, okay. Ivy, Ivy, thank you. You know from Dimple. Oh! Lee girl oh my gosh I'm so sorry I probably sounded so silly I was like ill e girl girl yes that was so clever for dimple is a favorite um you know someone asked me one time what's like your top 10 and I just I just can't do it but I would think that dimple would be somewhere in there because I think it's such a good song I'm actually getting the save me I'm fine tattoo on my wrist Samantha that is beautiful if and when you do that I don't know if you like post content on your TikTok or you're more of the type that like scrolls, but if you do post, make sure to post that because that's beautiful. And so many people maybe would have that same idea and could get some inspiration or, you know, you could share your story. That's awesome. Hi, I'm a, a PH army. Is that Philippines? I'm sorry, um, but yay. So genius. I have no idea because they're really good actors. Oh yeah, who's the, in the freaking what is it, in the runs? I have no idea. And they all, the thing is, I feel like after a while, like we can tell who might be lying and who might not just because we get to know them so well, but it's still, they're just such good deceivers, you know? So I have no idea sometimes. Um, so, uh talked about multi stance talked about my friends shout out to her for allowing me to or like introducing them to me sometimes i still thank her to be honest um i got a question once that said like which members do i like or that are my favorite and all the members are i like all of them to be honest but um i think i'm a maknae line girl i think they're my faves like i have such a soft spot for jimin v and, and jungkook specifically so yeah. Gem Gemma Vu is on. But yeah, so. But what about what about y'all? How's everyone's day going or night going? Has, have you had dinner yet? I'm here eating goldfish as if I'm. And I did cook. I cooked yesterday, so I should be eating. Hello from Texas. BTS honey I just love your video and it's like you are really talking to them I try thank you so much thank you so so much from Texas um I try I really do like I know sometimes things can come off I don't know corny or weird but like all y'all know that 
it's edited right so it's like that is already known but like we just ignore that part and i just try to act like i'm literally talking to them and um so i'm glad that you like it and i'm glad that it it works right like and i'm glad that it's 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 just like fun to watch because i i have fun doing them which is what i comment all the time but it's so true um Jimin has been coming for me lately. It's it's that Jimin factor. I was telling that to my boyfriend the other day. I was like, the Jimin effect is real. Pete, like, because he, he was saying like, oh, but isn't Jimin one of the most popular? And I'm like, I mean, whatever, whatever about all that. Like, Jimin has a way. It's not it's not about because honestly, people can like have one bias one day and then another bias the next. So, and I, especially if it's Jimin, I don't blame him. <laughs> Yep, thank you for mentioning my reply that from other countries. Sorry for my English. Absolutely not. No worries at all. Um, anytime. Thank you for commenting and thank you for stopping by. My day has been great, but I haven't eaten dinner yet. Yeah, yeah, me neither. Again, it's been it's been goldfish because I figured like I was gonna make popcorn originally, but um, goldfish is already made, so <laughs> well. Once you gym in, you can't gym out. I literally probably say that like twice a month. It's it's a mantra. What's going on back here? Oh, I love whenever they have these sorts of little sit downs and they and they talk like you get to know them so much and get to know their insights and stuff. So I love that. Hobie was actually my original bias, but then I heard August D and Yoongi made me uh, cry because he gets it and now he's my ult. Yeah. You know, sometimes there is that emotional connection or there's, I, I really think that like you can tell a lot about someone's, from someone's bias, but also like, because it can change, maybe it just depends on whatever they're going through at that particular moment in their life, you know? Um, I know I started out as a, uh, it's kind of complicated. So I think I started out as a JK bias, but only because Jungkook, he's the center, you know what I mean? Like that's what's meant to happen. You're being a little loud. <laughs> um, that's what's meant to happen so Jungkook stuck out to me but I knew I was like nah like I don't think he's my bias I just think that he's the center and that's his job you know that's his role um, so I didn't know them well enough yet um, and then Tay Tay had a big portion like he was like a good chunk he was my bias for a good amount of time and then um, and then Jimin <laughs> Jimin came and stayed <laughs> and it's still Jimin um what i th i think you're asking how old am i and i am 27. um yeah i heard that your bias is what you're like and your bias record is your ideal type oh, i love that okay i can see it i can see it oh my gosh i just feel like i'm exposed yeah i guess so right thank you bts honey um it's just brightening my day every time i see your videos thank you like i i i'm just it just makes me so <laughs> i'm just like melt like you know it just makes me so happy to to see comments like that thank you um girl i'm 26 yes yes you know all that stigma that has anything to do with the age or whatever of um however old or whatever you need to be to to stand a group or anything like that goes out the window like let's let's remember how old bts themselves are okay right like anyone that that says anything can take a seat <laughs> like they don't know what they're talking about so yes 26 love it among all the songs of bts or it can be lyrics what is that one message that touched you the most hmm Okay, so um, recently, recently I feel like it's actually been um, Life Goes On, where they say broke, wait, 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 oh my gosh, no, it's Fly To My Room, right? Where they say broken is beautiful, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's Fly To My Room. Um, that one stuck for a while, and before that, I would say Magic Shop as a, as a song, the minute that like it comes on, kind of like how, how Microcosmos, like the minute, or even Spring Day, like the moment that you hear those songs, it's like your heart is like tugged. Um, Magic Shop for me, like I would listen to that in my car, like 
at night <laughs> like you know just like by myself um just to like sometimes i need to get the feels out so that that song did that for me um but recently fly to my room for sure um, broken is beautiful i just love when jimin says that they heard it somewhere they heard that your ideal type is your record girl um okay um my bias is jungkook but my ideal type is jin uh i feel like you're going based off of the ideal type that means that you really like to laugh i would assume <laughs> i feel like i'm starting to do like fortune telling tell me your bias <laughs> no but seriously um i don't know jin and the dad jokes i uh, he's he's hilarious i need more army friends and you are amazing ivy well we can be well we are friends i see it we are friends on on tiktok and um i really only have one like my mom is an army so i guess she counts as a friend too and then my boyfriend will never admit that he's an army but um he knows he he can hold a conversation so life goes on stuck with me but before that it was answer love myself yeah yeah definitely i think maybe life goes on because of like what was happening in the world at the time and then maybe answer love myself because um like maybe that was just like personal to you so that makes perfect sense what bts song is your favorite song so i i i um i have touched on that it is i'm fine um and i do think that's like my old favorite song um but i if i had a moment to really sit down and think about it i could probably think of like a more recent um favorite but i'm fine is is the one for sure thank you for the rose um my bias is jimin and my record is jungkook we are twins we are we are here we are here who's this jimin lane yes we are here um i don't know something about the little combo you know what i mean like during Dynamite, I was like, yes, thank you. <laughs> there was so many, there were so many little uh, G Cook moments. Did you go to the concert of BTS? It, oh, so um, did I see the live yesterday? Yes, I saw, I saw Jimin's live yesterday, but um, I've never been to a concert and that has been something that weighs on me heavily um like i said i became a fan in december of 2019 so you know that was right before covid and they were gonna go on their map of uh map of soul 7 tour and then everything happened and i literally it literally affected me actually i was i was i feel like it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and i haven't lost hope i think that we're all gonna still be able to see them in concert but it's de ugh, it just it sucks you know, you know it's hard I haven't seen them in concert yet but one day <laughs> bts Jin, all my world you are you are precious and so creative thank you um I, I think that you're referring to my 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 BTS edits. Um, so if, if anyone doesn't know, I, I recently have been making BTS edits as if I've been like FaceTiming them or as if I've been talking to them directly. And it's it's just, it's fun. I have a good time. I'm literally just here in my apartment talking to no one. Um, and it's just, it when i kind of put it together it comes off as though like like the member and i are actually having a conversation so um thank you so much and i'm just so glad that y'all are enjoying it honestly yes something about those two i'm saying jimin and jungkook i don't know jin's laugh is so contagious i could literally listen to his laugh all day agreed agreed i remember when i first started becoming an army and i would watch things on youtube and they would do the edits with the windshield wipers <laughs> as his laugh that got me every single time um army are just hilarious in the way that they edit their videos it's too much i love it but um yes the windshield <laughs> i know can't wait to see what you do with the two new lives Fun fact, BTS Jin for me. I have I posted Jin's and I posted Jimin's just like an hour ago or so. I literally went to my car. <laughs> I literally went to my car because he's in his car during his live. 
and I like walked out and went to my car and my neighbors were walking back and forth. Like there was a couple times because I had my phone set up and I was like, oh man, they're these, they, I think nowadays people don't like even care. Like people don't really realize it, but like being in the car, I was like, yeah, I'm talking to my phone for TikTok. <laughs> but the final product is fun. So definitely check it out. I did both Jin and Jimin. So um, definitely uh, take a look. And don't forget his horse laugh. Why are we like this? <laughs> the things that make our days, right? Literally. And then, Nam, oh my gosh, you guys keep going. Oh my gosh. And then Nam June spray bottle laugh. <laughs> it's a big. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna check them out for sure. Yes, please do. Hot, hi, star make friends play. Hello. Um, but yes, BTS Jin. Um, definitely check them out. Leave a comment and I'll, I'll respond. I really do try to respond to everyone's comments. Like, it's, it's, I've been thinking about it. I'm like, I can understand how TikTok is a, is a job for people, you know, like if you really keep up with it and I, and I try to, because I, I love talking to ARMY. Like, it's just, it's so much fun talking to like-minded people, you know, and people that actually appreciate the stuff that you do. Like the people in my real life, like half of them don't even know that this is something that I like to do. And then the other half know I like BTS, but they're just like, they don't know like the in depth about it, you know? So y'all are the people that like, I really feel connected to, you know what I mean? Where are you from? I, so I'm originally from Connecticut, fun fact. Very small state. Um, and I currently live in Florida. Um, gin windshield wiper. <laughs> I know, I know. Hi, lo uh, love your, almost dropped my, I would have had to clean that up. Uh, hi, I'm new, I just seen your videos, I love them. Uh, love yourself 1986 hello thank you so much um which one was your favorite i've done every member at least once i i haven't done a part two of every member yet but i'll get around to it but let me know what's your favorite uh video that um from the edits same half of them don't half of them do is that when i was saying half of my friends know something like that right yeah like the people in my in my real life like some dude some don't and i have a feeling that like when they see my videos they're like what is bianca doing <laughs> you know but i'm like it's not for you it's for army okay it's just they have to understand since when were you in in the army um i have been in in the army since december of 2019 so right before covid um and yeah it hasn't been that long but it took me all through the pandemic when we were in quarantine to get caught up Namjoon wasn't lying. It really does take a year to get to know, to see all their content. They just have so much. My favorite was the Namjoon edit part one and two. Okay, okay, so part one. Part one was when he said, get the hell My uh, BTS uh, Namjoon edit was when he said, get the hell out. Um, and that's when I asked if the children and permission to dance were his children or not. I know, I know. I, I, I touched a nerve there. If you haven't seen it yet, please do. And then part two, that one I did recently. And um, I think we were just, I think I apologized for asking him that. And I just kind of like um, was trying to establish some better ground because we, we left off on a, on a bad foot the last time that we spoke. So I like them all. Jin video was my favorite. It had me dying. Okay, so the recent Jin one that I did, or okay, because the the recent Jin one that I did, um, I I enjoyed with the clapping, cut right. Um, but then the first Jin one I did was um, like we were having an eat Jin, but it was really a drink Jin because he had me drinking water that whole time. Um, did you get any albums yet? Yes, so I have a couple. Um, Map of Soul Seven was my first, and then so I got two of those. <laughs> And then I, I, I haven't, I don't, I'm not, I don't really feel the need to collect the whole collection, but it's kind of like when I just feel like it. So I have, um, I have Map of Soul Persona. I have Love Yourself, Her, Tear, Answer, for sure. That's probably my favorite album. Mm -hmm. 
all together, like the compilation album, probably, probably answer. And then butter, I have peaches and cream down there. Um, so yeah. And for the peaches and cream, I pulled Hobie and OT7. So that was fun. I only, oh, I have B album as well. Um, I've only had an OT7 photo card from when I had the B album. So I was not expecting it from butter. One of my in real life friends texted me when one of my vids hit her for you page. I died. That happened to me. That happened to me too. Who said this was a uh, Seattle seattle 40 something yes that happened to me so i did one video where i was like it was it was oh, it was during the butter photo um when they when they have their handcuffs like what, what am i trying to say mug shots and i did a video where i was like using cardi b's voice and i was like um i'm <laughs> i'm dating this cute young fine thug thing da 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 right and i had it going on in the back and literally like i got like like screenshot sent like this is Bianca like she's on my for you page I was like oh my god but yes I mean I have no shame don't get me wrong but it's like when it's in real life it's it hits different <laughs> so that happened to me too um omg wait yes the Namjoon one is my fave yes I'm glad I'm glad um Keep doing great edited videos. I enjoy watching them. Thank you so much, Marissa. Marissa Jungkook, thank you. Um, I will, I will continue doing it. Like, if they don't make new lives like how they have recently, I'm just gonna use some of their old ones. Like, we all know they have tons of content. So I will just, I'll just go back and check out some of their older stuff. So no worries. I'll definitely, the, my, my mantra in my mind is like, as long as you guys like seeing them, I'll keep making them because it's so much fun and like, why stop you know they have so much content anyway so uh jks cookies hi i'm a fan of you thank you hearts hearts thank you or hearts right um i didn't even know why i bought two butter album peaches and cream version let me tell you i was like i'm gonna be good i'm not gonna buy both i'm gonna be good i'm just gonna pre-order it but then the day of release came and I'm like, how do you not go to Target on the day that it's in stores? Like, then there's ARMY that didn't pre-order it that have it before you, right? Like, and you pre-ordered and uh, so I totally get it. Like, it's, I totally understand. Your videos are amazing. It's so funny. Dance to hip hop, or dance to hip pop. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anyone who hasn't seen the edits, like, please do. Um, they're fun to make and like a lot of people have fun in the comments. So, and I make sure to comment or I make sure to reply to, to the comments. I, you know, I try to, so the recent gin one. Yeah, I know that <laughs> I had one idea where I was going to have him like do it over and over. And like, I literally wasn't going to be able to say anything, but I was like, I don't know. Okay. I like to have like a story, like not just like like quick 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 clip so um but maybe one day i'll recycle the idea <laughs> the recent gin edits my favorite i'm so glad favorite bts song for those of you who haven't um i mentioned it earlier but it is i'm fine it's something about it you know what i'm gonna have to play i'm fine i love no but we're gonna have to play i'm fine real quick Even the beginning just gets me. Okay. Um, I just saw the Jimin video that you just did. It was so funny. Thank you. I went out to the car because Jimin's in the car and I li that's how I filmed that one. So I'm so glad that you liked it. Thank you. Ooh, House of Cards. Now that is a fun one. If someone asks, what's your favorite song? And they say House of Cards. Like, I want to have a conversation with you. Like, that's awesome. Because that, that's such a, I, I, what do I think of? I almost think of like dr drama, like dramatic, like theatrics when I hear that song. Love it. Gotta run your content is so fun. Thank you. Thank you so much, Seattle for supporting something. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a good song. Yes. How do you come up with ideas? It's very impressive. That's, that's a great question. Thank you. So I literally just watch the lives like full, like, I sometimes I skip every now and then, but I just try to watch the whole live. And as I'm watching, I 
especially the parts that are in English do stick out to me because um, I think it's just more believable when people watch that we're actually communicating. So if they speak, say something in English, I try to highlight that. Um, and then I anything that, it, or if they do something with their face or something like with their body language that I feel like I can speak to, I try to have that as well, or like include that. Um, so for instance, when Namjoon was like, get the hell out, like, I was like, oh, that's hilarious if it's actually, if he's saying that to me, like, right? Like that's, why would he say that to an army? But that'd be hilarious if he says that to me. And then from there, I'm like, why would he say that? Like, why would he say that to someone if they didn't like really like strike a nerve? And then at that, I was like, I always try to incorporate maybe something that the fandom enjoys or some some insider that is only something that we in the fandom know of like if someone else saw it they probably wouldn't even get it you know what i mean and i think that's also when i have that mix that's like i think what makes it like fun to watch um how old are you i am 27 do you stand any other groups um, so earlier I mentioned that I do like other groups. So I don't necessarily stand any other groups. I haven't put like as much energy and time into any other groups, um, to be honest. But like, I do like Blackpink. I like Twice. I had to write them down. I like Mama Moo. I like Stray Kids. I like TXT. I like In Hyphen. Um, but I'd be lying if I said that I knew all their songs. I like, I like some of NCT songs. I like, um, I like some solo artists too. So um, I think I just, I'm, I still need to learn more about the K-pop genre and like, you know, who's really killing it. Um, but right now when it comes to standing and probably how it'll be for, for a long time is, is BTS. That's where I put like a lot of my energy and time. If I had to pick, it would be save me because it was my first MV. Someone else who, who says this, that was Jim, Jim and Lane, Jim and Lane. Someone else said that too earlier that their first like love was save me and it's because of that music video so um you're not alone in that a lot of i think that's a that's a popular one do you know which member you are going to do next i don't jimin went live last night so it made it a little easier <laughs> it made it a little easier for me um but in terms of who i'm gonna do next i actually don't know um i'll probably just watch a lot of times I get inspiration from TikTok too. Like if I see that there's like a, a clip that's really trending or that people are really like finding funny, I'll um, probably try to go to that that um, live and maybe use some of that. Um, Cause I, I obviously wanna do what you guys like to see. So I'm not sure which member I'm gonna do yet. We'll see. Dance to hip hop. Oh, you said, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I said I don't really stand many others. Um, but I, I'm a fan. I just, I just don't stand, you know, any advice for all the, <laughs> for all the sims? Um, any advice? I mean, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like on the spot. I don't know. Give me a second. I'll get back to you on that one. I love you. Army. You're cute. I love you too. Sarah Kitten. I'm the same way. I like fever a lot. It was me, I think. Oh, someone else said House of Cards. That's that's awesome. Let me put House of Cards. House of Cards. This is a beautiful song. Hold on. Y'all hear it? Yeah. Um, but Just One Day has a special place in my heart because it was their first song I've ever heard. That's awesome. Yeah. And I have a lot of favorite songs of BTS. It's impossible. Like, that's why I've actually, because someone asked me, they're like, what's your favorite song? And I'm like, I feel like that question should just not exist because it's not fair to make me choose. <laughs> they have so many good ones and it really depends on like the mood I'm in that particular moment, you know? It's, it's so hard to choose a favorite song, I feel like. Oops, yeah, so. But House of Cards, this one's a great one. And I think this is this is another underrated one. L name some of the under underrated songs of BTS. And honestly, they're on your fave list. Like, uh, can we talk about how big the Map of Soul uh, 7 album is compared to the others? Do, do you mean like size? Because even size-wise, it's the largest. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it... 
I mean, it's in terms of like numbers, especially, I mean, I think a lot of people became fans from episode seven that probably weren't, there's a lot of people that became fans because of um, Dynamite, of course, of course. But before Dynamite were the Map of Soul 7 baby armies. And I think a lot had to do with um, like Carpool Karaoke came out around that time. Um, can we talk? Yeah. I have a lot of favorites, but my top three are The Suspense, Eliza. You have to say what your top three are. <laughs> yeah size no I know like physically it, it was it was huge and it was like a book <laughs> um so that but it came with a lot of fun goodies inside so that was really cool what makes you happy that you see from BTS doing um honestly any time that they do what they want to do I am happy so if they want to do English songs if they want to do different styles of music videos, different styles of music in general, D different styles with their hair or their look. I love that. I mean, I think it's great that they love ARMY and they want to make ARMY happy, but I love when they do their own thing. I mean, they're grown men and they have all the right. They've been in the game for so long, right? They've been in the game for eight years now. Like they have all the right to take whatever creative direction they want to take. So I'm all for that. And that, that makes me happy. I've, I have a lot of faves of BTS songs too. I yeah, same. I literally have a Spotify playlist where it's like, like BTS chill favorites, BTS um, hype favorites. BT, like you know, like depending on what mood I'm in, there's a favorite that goes somewhere, um, which is awesome. And I travel, I travel back home a lot too. Um, so I I listen to their songs on the plane. Personally, plane rides give me a little. I don't really like them too much, so listening to BTS really calms me down, like, especially during travel. Sorry I had to do something, but I'm back. I am glad you're back. Star, make friends play. I'm going to try that. Yeah, try it. Um, I, I think, I assume that you mean during travel. Um, it's It could be a stressful time, you know? I mean, traveling is, nowadays especially, so all I do really is just keep an AirPod in. Um, and like, especially on takeoff, like I've heard like mic drop on takeoff and that's a little, that's a little hype, um, like on a plane. But if I listen to something like blue and gray, there's something about it. That's so soothing while like my environment is not soothing. You know what I mean? So I really like that. Um, in my opinion, this is Jim and Lane. In my opinion, the underrated songs are look here, coffee, house of cards, Love is not over and so and, and so much more. Yes. I, when I first started putting on the music, I think House of Cards started replaying. When I first started putting on the music, I think um Don't Don't Let Go, I think played. Um I might have just messed up that the name of that, but right? Don't let it go, right? Yeah, so life goes on is out is on now. Um can you sing any song of BTS very well? Did you see that? No. <laughs> um, no, I, I don't. I'm not that much of a singer too much, but I like to dance. I like to dance a lot. So um, I haven't like there was a time that I wanted to learn um, DNA. I remember that's really that's hard. They make it look super easy. That's a hard one. I all, I give off my hat off to all the like TikTok dancers or the dancers on TikTok because I don't know. They're on something else. But no, I don't really sing that well can you who, who said this this was uh sarah kidding can you sing and if so what what's your favorite song to sing from bts i can't listen to music on the plane because no wi-fi and i don't want to pay for it valid valid absolutely um so yeah i do pay for a spotify subscription but it's together with my hulu so I'm not too mad at it. I think it was like that from when I was like a student. Um, so um, that's, I still pay for that. And that's, it's like downloaded onto my phone and that's how I can listen to it. But you're right, no Wi-Fi. Um, and I'm not mad if you don't want to pay for music. I completely understand. Uh, where do you live now? I am in Florida. <laughs> Florida. Florida's cool. Actually, it's very hot, but it's, it's cool. It's cool. The 
you know, there's there's interesting people all over the place. Um, but there's plenty of army in in Florida. Not that, like I really have only one friend that's like close to me. But um, like there was a meetup in Orlando, and that was really fun. And so there was like 40 of us, and we're all from Florida. So it's it's a good time. What do you think? Uh, about their song on because a lot of armies on TikTok saying they don't like it. You know, that's a really good question. When it comes, so I like on, I like on. I think some army have a problem with Sia on it. Um, to each their own. I have both downloaded on my phone, so whichever one comes up is the one that comes up. Um, but I, I love on, and I think on did not get its flowers. I think we should have a reboot of on because what happened was COVID got in the way and all these other things that got in the way and COVID I mean, and, and on didn't get its, its shine, like its moment. Like Dynamite had its moment, you know, like all these other songs that came after on, in my opinion, got their moment. But I think on deserves its moment. This is the only live I've stayed watching this long. Ah, Marissa, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. You know, I told myself that I would um, I would get off at like eight, you know, first live, just have it 30 minutes. But here I am just just talking. So I'm, I'm not mad at it. Um, Judy loves yellow. I tried dance to DNA, too, and I fell so much. I bet because that part I'm not even going to attempt, but they do something with the legs. Right. And there's like and then they go on the floor. See, if I were to go on the floor, I wouldn't get back up. So I, I get it. <laughs> Hello, BTS Army for Life 110. Hello. I see you have Hope World in your background or as your profile picture. Love that. Are you a Hope Worldian? I agree. On needs more recognition. I, I, that is a fact in my opinion. <laughs> um, I love On. I do. Fly to My Room is On. I love Fly to My Room. Same in my siblings will laugh at me oh. are they young are they younger if they're younger then i guess just ignore but if they're older then you could tell them a little something <laughs> uh star my, my brother came in well i was doing it and i told him to get out yes that deserves that dance needs concentration i completely understand if you needed a moment <laughs> um i remember when it came to Butter. Butter is not that difficult, but I, I learned or I try to learn butter on the um, YouTube tutorial. I keep pointing to my TV as if it's on, but um, they, it was like a slower. They like slowed it down and that's how I was able to, to learn it. But you. <laughs> my friend is FaceTiming me, so I'm going to get off in a second, but I don't know why, but you give me teacher vibes. Um, I that's kind of what I do as my profession. I. Um, and somewhat of like, I'm a health educator, so I do educate. Um, so I'm glad that, I mean, that's so funny, like how, that I guess I have that um, vibe. So I'm not mad at it because that's basically what I do. Um, da, 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 da. You look like an actress, but I'm trying so hard to remember the name. Oh, pulling a junk cook, BTS, honey. I remember actress don't remember actress name i don't know if you if you're just being silly with uh the junk cook reference or if you're serious but if you're serious i hope you remember and if once i get off live it, on a random video of mine maybe comment it or put it in my q a or something because i am super interested to know which actress you're referring to i've been told like uh nikki minaj nikki minaj oh my gosh uh um christina million <laughs> christina million it kind of has like a I could see it if you say Christina Milian. I don't know why I said Nicki Minaj. Oh, I see. Yeah, and then I started to rethink my life choices. <laughs> I feel like BTS fandom in any capacity and other people will make you think that. Can you sing soup, soup, soup? <laughs> oh my gosh. First of all, I love In The Soup. And um, I think they need to do like a, a, second, a second season um, of In The Soup. Um, but yeah, it's like soup, 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 soup. <laughs> and then, and then Jungkook's part. Oh my gosh. The, he, the thing is he was joking, but like it came out really good. So like, you know, it's like, of course he's good at everything. So he jokes around, but yeah, it's like actually really good. 
I miss BTS in the soup. I want a season two. I know me too, right? Seriously, they need to they need to do it. I it's basically a cooking show, but like I loved it. I just love seeing them in their like natural element, not so much with like all the, you know, staff all over them putting on the makeup and the hair and everything. I loved seeing them just like in the for in the forest. Um just like doing their own thing, cooking and playing games, like loved it. Have you ever seen BTS perform? No. I haven't. I, I got tickets to their Map of Soul 7 um, tour and it's still in my phone. Still haven't used it. <laughs> um, so hopefully they come out with their new tour dates. When, that, when they come out with their new tour dates, TikTok isn't going to know what to do. TikTok is like all of TikTok is going to just uh, like uh, explode. Twitter is going to explode. The whole Internet is just going to shut down. But I cannot wait until they go back on tour. I'm so excited. His improv ad libs were so good. Oh, yeah, it's in the soup, right? John Cook? Absolutely. I know. That's such a fun episode seeing them like make the, um, the, what is it called? The theme song. So, have you watched the BTS in Zombie Apocalypse? I have. I have. That's like, that's like when it's a rite of passage. If you're going to become an army, there's certain runs that you need to watch like right away. And that's one of them. That one's so much fun. I mean, that one you can go back to at any point. If you're ever having a bad day, watch the zombie apocalypse uh, run BTS. Um, whoo, permission to dance just came on. Stop. Okay. Um, star make friends. Like yeah. And it was funny, but I, but yeah, I felt bad. I, are we referring to the zombies? That, like, it was funny watching them be scared, but then, like, kind of feeling bad. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm so serious, but I turned 59 yesterday, and I think the age is taking over. Ah, <sighs> girl, or boy, you're doing it, though. BTS, honey, 246, you're doing it. And Jin getting choked while eating me. <laughs> Y'all, with these references, I love it. Sugar being the producer, <laughs> yes. Absolutely, very attractive. Just seeing them in their element, right? Seeing them what they love to do. The thing is, Sugar stayed in his little his little camper. Will you go to Korea one day in life just to visit? Oh, I mean, I would love that. My boyfriend and I talk about that all the time. Um, we talk about how, like, he wants to go to visit Japan one day, and I'm not, like, especially since being into BTS, I would love to visit Korea. Um, sometimes on YouTube, I watch um 4k walkthroughs of korea or of like different places in the world and they're so much fun and like so especially if they're raining if it's raining in the video it's so nice because it's like nice to fall asleep to and it's just very like, tranquil so i would love to visit i watched tiktok with jin more than 10 times that makes me so happy i know he's clapping right he was like cut like I was trying to record a little something with him. He wasn't having it. You know how Jin, you know how the things work at his time? Jin hit entertainment. They don't say that for no reason. I've watched it so funny. He thought he looked classy. He thought he looked classy. Oh, did I say? Hello, beautiful. Hello. <laughs> Girl, BTS, honey, I got you. Girl, you know, you never know. Like, it's like, like I, I don't want to say anything wrong. So, girl, I got you. My trip was canceled twice because of COVID. That is so frustrating. That is so frustrating. I'm so sorry, Jim and Lane. Are you going to reschedule for later? Is your boyfriend Korean? He is not. He is not Korean. Um, but love him. <laughs> the, it's so funny because, like, people don't talk about, like, like standing BTS and being in a relationship much. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they just focus on ARMY, whether you're single or not. But, uh, or, yeah, but like, I, the, the ones in a relationship, like, we should have a group. We should talk. Because we need to get our, our partners in line when it comes to BTS, right? Yes, hopefully going to travel next year. Okay, perfect. I am wishing, I'm actually going to shut off my, or close my blinds real quick. But for, um... One second, but for um, traveling, I am so glad that you are going to for next year, so. Yay. Uh, I gotta go, bye, hope to, hope, 
I hope to see you again on another live. Yes, bye, Judy. Thank you. If you had to meet any member of BTS, which one would it be? Mine is V. If I, if I were able to meet any member, oh, that is so hard. I think I would genuinely be so starstruck. Um, I would love to meet my bias, Jimin, but um, I would love to meet Namjoon. You know, like I think that would be such a fun, I, I would think of that as just like a nice interaction, just like a pleasant experience. So I would love to meet Namjoon. Yes, you're right, girl. I'm sure your boyfriend is jealous. Mm, we're not gonna say that live. <laughs> No, he's really good. He's really good. Um, he's low-key in ARMY, too. Um, his bias is Namjoon, and he loves Jungkook. So, you heard it here first. Oh, my gosh, I'm putting it. If he's on here, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but he, I, I, I love him. You know, like, he has no shame in that. Like, he'll talk to other, he'll talk to locals about it. Like, oh, yeah, my girlfriend's really into BTS. And then he'll be like, yeah, like, they're really good. Like, he recognizes greatness when he sees it. So, he, he knows. uh you have a beautiful soul from i'm from morocco I watch your videos all the time i thank you so much i i love that thank you thank you thank you you know like thank you for watching thank you for your kind words just then um i've never been to morocco but that seems fun uh remember when Jin went live and one army said marry me and Jin, i know Jin was like stop making that nonsense he had his food and he was like stop talking that nonsense I love Jungkook too. Yes. Prob Nam June because of language barriers, but I would try to learn a few phrases. I, I feel that same way. Like if I knew I had the opportunity to meet BTS, I'd want to really brush up on my like I didn't have to like you know what I mean? Like let me not because I'm not I'm not that good. I'm not I'm just not. So but I would really try to um, learn or master a few phrases so that way we could it could be a little easier on both ends. Imagine getting rejected by worldwide handsome. I do not want that energy here. No, <laughs> no rejections. I know, right? Imagine. Right, that's basically what's happening in my live, right? I mean, in my, in my, um, not my live, my video, when he's like telling me to stop talking so he could eat a snack and go on his phone. Hey, Boba Tea Princess. I love Boba. I love Boba. My friend and I go all the time. Honey Boba, and I love Taro, and I love what is it called that i um oh my gosh i'll get back to you though but i love boba tea not that you asked right that's just your name but <laughs> um yeah because my boyfriend gets so jealous when i say that they look hot <laughs> it's it's understandable but they hopefully he comes around and starts seeing the beauty in them too right which member do you think is the funniest? Someone asked me this earlier. I think it's Jen just naturally. It just he's just hilarious with his dad jokes. Uh I love your hair, girl. Thank you. This is not thank I'm just gonna accept the compliment instead of you know saying anything, but I I it could it could be better. It could be better is all I'm gonna say. But thank you. The, there's a little it's not as defined, they're kind of all over the place, but it's cool. You're what's popping, homie. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, Chris Later, I appreciate it. Queen, Se Queen Sra, and from Kenya, full time army. I love your videos. Oh my gosh! Thank you, and and hello from Kenya. I love that. Thank you. Sarah Kitten, I love BTS English. Do you like it too? I love it. Honestly, when I'm making my edits, that's like kind of what I'm looking for. I mean just so it could look more realistic as if we're actually having a conversation so yeah and it's so it's so adorable right like junk cuts english is so cute Ooh, right <laughs> um i love brown sugar boba so much yes oh banana watermelon yes do you watch k-dramas um not as much so i, I I'm, I'm not that well versed i've seen i've seen it's one class I think that's yeah that's that's what i've seen i think there was one other one but um again like my friend's been putting me on to that type of stuff so i'm not i'm not too well versed yet uh any k dramas that you recommend marissa i miss old songs of i miss old songs of bts i miss that energy danger mike jock silver spoon 
Yeah, no, I, I, I can understand that, um, especially if you're, if you're an older fan. Like, I know their direction has shifted a little bit, um, or a lot of bit. So, I, I was saying, like, after Dynamite especially, love Butter, love Permission to Dance OBS, but I would love a, like, darker concept or, like, more on the edgier side, um, kind of like those that we just named right there. I, I agree. BTS is the best thing I ever seen. Psh, no, you're, you are not. Who's doing it like them? You are not wrong. Who is doing it like them nowadays? For real. Worldwide handsome, you know? WWH, you know? Have you seen the music run? It's pretty old. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did. So, like, I did a lot of my army research um, within that first year um, during COVID. Um, so I am, I am caught up. Yes, I love run. My favorite part of the choreography is when they take off their jacket and they, they do that little shrug thing. Love that. Pop in pop. <laughs> okay, Marissa, wait, 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 wait. Marissa, the popping, popping, popping during muster. Oh my gosh, gin is too much. Juliet, where do you watch BTS lives from? I would like to watch them too. Yeah, so you can find them on YouTube and you can also find them on B Live. It's one class is so good. Yes, I that was that's the one I've seen full 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 through and and I love it. So there's so much to recommend, but you should watch True Beauty and Doom at your service. Okay, sounds good. And I really recommend Strong Woman Do Bong Soon. That's her name. Okay. Well, sounds good. Well, this has been so much fun, guys. I am going to log off now because it's it's been like an hour. <laughs> I meant to do this for like 30 minutes, um, but this has been so much fun. And I'll definitely do this again. And we can have some more, some more BTS chit chat, some more Q&As, some more getting to know each other, you know? Um, so I'll, I'll see you later. Please check out, check out the Jin edit and check out the gym and edit I just did. So, all right. Bye. Good night. Good night, Sarah. All righty. Oh, bye. Onion. Bye. <laughs> bye, Marissa. I'll talk to y'all. I actually don't know how to, how to end this. So this is my first, my first live. Don't know how to end it. <laughs> We're just going to press some buttons. I think it's this one. Do I have any questions in here? Okay, no. All right, y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.